Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'll be showing you some cool tips and tricks about the new device Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite. I've been using this device for quite a while now and there are really some cool tips and tricks I would like to share with you. The device is running MIUI 10 based on Android 8.1 which is the latest update by Xiaomi. So let's start the video but before I start, kindly subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notified every time I post a new video. So the first tip would be about the notification. When you swipe down you see this new animation. You have all your toggles here, you have your brightness slider, also you can edit the toggles, you can add from down to up and you can remove something from the main toggles. Even the brightness slider is quite animated. I really like this look of the new MIUI 10. So when you have a notification, you can directly reply from here, no need to open the application. Just swipe down and click on reply and type your reply. So without going to the application, you can reply from here. Another cool thing is about the volume rocker. You have the beautiful animation for the volume rocker and also you can click over here to see all the settings for your alarm, for notification, for your music. You can do, di do not disturb directly from here. Also, if you want stopwatch functionality, you have the stopwatch functionality for till eight hours here. So the whole animation is really nice. It really feels very smooth. Even the volume rocker, they look really cool. Now I'm talking about the second tip, which is about the multitasking. In MIUI 10, when you swipe up and hold, so you have all these windows opened for the multitasking. In MIUI 9, you need to swipe up to remove the application. But in MIUI 10, you just swipe left or right to remove it. Left or right to remove the application. Or you can just click over here to delete all the windows. So now you see there is no windows open. And also when you have windows open, when you press and hold, you can either lock them to the home screen, you can do the split screen multitasking directly from here. You can tap to choose anything, for example, Play Store. So here I have my messaging, here I have my Google Play Store. When you double tap here, you can change the settings. Now Google Play is up and messages is down. Suppose you want to remove messages, you just swipe up and you remove message and open another application. Just press tab if you want to open gallery. So now you have Play Store and gallery here, double tap. You have gallery and Play Store here. When you swipe down, you have one application open. So multitasking on this device is really cool. And also when you press and hold over here, you can directly go to the permissions and the settings of the same application. So I really like this cool look of the multitasking. Now let's go to the third tip. When you go to the settings, you have the full screen option. When you go to the full screen display, you can hide the notch by clicking over here. This is how it's gonna look like the screen. So now you can hide the notch but it looks really ugly so it's better to have the notch yeah this looks better than you know hiding the notch so these are your gestures for the full screen gestures if you don't like gesture you can choose buttons you can click on the buttons so it gives you the classic navigation bar going back home screen multitasking and the google now so when you click here, you have the multitasking. But I prefer the full screen gesture, so I click on here. So basically there is a small demo also how to use the gestures. So when you swipe up and hold, you have the multitasking. When you are in any application, you swipe left to go back. Or swipe right to go back. Suppose you have a couple of applications opened. What you do when you are in, for example, phone dialer. You swipe left 
and it will trigger the last application you were using. And also you'll see a small icon, like see, you can see the contact icon here on the left. So it will take you to the contacts or dialer. Again, you can go to the Google Chrome. You can see Google Chrome icon on the left. So just press and hold for a while. When you just swipe, it takes you back. When you just swipe, it takes you back. When you swipe and hold, it takes you to the last application. So I really enjoy this new MIUI. It's not about MIUI 10, it's just about these new gestures, full screen gestures. In any Xiaomi device you can use it now, but it's very intuitive and very stylish. So I really like it. Also when you go to the display setting, you have your reading mode option. So if you're reading at night, you can also schedule it. Can be very handy. And also you can toggle the reading mode in your notification. Yeah, reading mode is here. And also you can change the color and contrast, default, warm, cool, automatic increase contrast. If you have eye fatigue, if you have eye fatigue, better to keep it default and automatic. Again, when you swipe to the left, you go back to the last page. I have added these functions, which is double tap to wake and auto rotate screen. So even the settings or anything can be auto rotate, give you a desktop mode, rise to wake. So if your you're lying, phone is lying down, so when you just raise the phone, it will awake. Double tap to wake. So when your phone is lying down, double tap, it will awake the phone. You can see your notifications. Also, if you are having issues with the text size, you can increase or decrease the text size, make it more larger. See, now it's huge. Better to keep it small. So again, there are a lot of cool tips for the display settings. You can play with them and according to your needs, you can keep it assigned. Now, another thing which uh, is very handy is uh, the screen on time. Usually what happens, your device will automatically lock and Sometimes you don't want that, you want to increase the screen lock time. So for screen lock time, you don't have to go to display, you just go to lock screen and password. Yeah, for some reason, Xiaomi has kept it here. So when you go here, you have the sleep option. You can keep it to never if you never want your screen to sleep, but this has 3000 mAh battery, so better to keep it like maybe one minute will be more than enough. So after one minute of inactivity, the screen will lock automatically, which is uh, more sensible. Another tip is about the battery percentage on your notification. So usually what happens, um, there is a battery indicator. But if you want the battery percentage to be shown, you go to the settings. You don't have to go to the battery settings because it doesn't show here. You go to your notification settings. You go to notification and status bar. And here you have an option of battery indicator. So you can either choose graphical, which is something like this. Or you can choose the percentage. So it's still quite small, but it will at least give you the graphic and percentage both. But still, it's quite handy if you see the percentage directly rather than just seeing the graphic. Also, with all the Xiaomi device, you get the second space option. So if you want to give your phone to your colleague or somebody in your family and you, you care about your privacy, you can just use the second space option. So you go to the setting, you type in second space. Now what is second space? It's like you're, you're reserving all your data in the first space, which is your main phone. And if you want to hand over your phone to somebody, you are giving them as a second space. So they can never revert to your main phone. They can use your phone as a normal phone. They can use the email. They can use the dialer. They can use camera, but they will never be able to access your first space, which is your main phone. So to do so, you go to the second space. You choose, I have already chosen a pattern. So this is my new pattern. So now you can see it's switching to the second space. Now this is a new phone itself. When you go to the dialer, you don't see any calls or anything. It's like a new phone. Even when you go to the camera and when you click some pictures, it will go to the new gallery. It will not go to the main gallery. So if you're giving it to your colleague, if you're giving your phone to somebody in your family member, they can never access your main phone or your main account. They can use the phone, but they will not be able to access your main account, which is very good. But again, once they are done with the usage of the phone, you can always click on switch and just press your fingerprint. 
So only by your fingerprint you can see again switching back to the main phone. This is your main account, this is your main phone. So this is again a great option given by Xiaomi for all its smartphones. Not only for me I ate light but it's for all the Xiaomi phones. So I really appreciate this. Also when you go to the settings you have a magnification setting. When you go to accessibility and you go to magnification. So when you triple tap, it will magnify anything. So it's very good when you're reading something and you have eye fatigue. So when you triple tap the screen, it will magnify everything. See, it's magnified everything. Even if you're in Google Chrome or you're reading something, triple tap will give, will give you a magnification functionality. And when you triple tap again, it will go back to the normal mode. Can be handy if you want to really zoom and see something so this can be a handy function and also something about the lock screen this one doesn't have a remote settings or a IR blaster and also from your lock screen when you swipe to the right you have the camera when you swipe to the left you have the flashlight and me i home i haven't even installed it but if you have your me i home installed you can access it directly from the lock screen since it's a dual sim smartphone you have all the dual app settings. So anything you want to use dual, for example, WhatsApp, you can see it's creating the second WhatsApp, or Facebook or Instagram, don't ask again, turn on. So when you go here, you have the two WhatsApp installed. You can install two Facebook or as you like. There are more features in this device, but in this video, I have chosen these 10. In future, I'll be making more videos. If you like my content and my videos, kindly subscribe to my channel. And also you can click over here to see the playlist of Mi 8 Lite videos, which I have made recently. So there is unboxing, there is camera review, everything is over here. So when you click over here, you can see the playlist. If you want to follow my channel, kindly subscribe and hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Ask me in the comments if you have any questions about the device, about the hardware or the software, and I will let you know in my answer. See you in my next video. Till then, goodbye and peace out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate that. Also click on the notification icon, the bell icon. So you'll constantly get updated with my new videos. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Till then, goodbye.